Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out Star Stuff. This is a puzzle game demo where you control an alien who works at a factory that creates stars. And apparently I'll be using robots or programming robots to do tasks. But I think that's eventually, right now they're just introducing me to the basics of the game, which is put boxes onto buttons to create bridges. Honestly, for a very first level in the game, I'm glad it's not the most handholdy crap ever. But you know, if you played a lot of puzzle games, you've seen a lot of boxes and buttons and wires and that sort of stuff so here oh that's new what is that like a bounce pad so does it activate the bounces or is it a one-time thing it's a one-time thing so if i put the box on here and then set it up <laughs> oh that's funny okay that's cute that's cute bouncy pads and here's the robots ah coding robots go to here did that work Nice. And then I can just go to the end platform. All right, seems simple enough. Bots can wait until a button is pressed to execute the rest of their code. Well, so first thing I wanna find out is he goes here. Let's just play it right now. So I can go across. And what the hell, how do I interact with this? I just gotta press it. So I have to wait for this to be pressed. And then he can go to this, which will activate the bounce pad. That's cool. I can get behind that. So I got to stand on the bounce pad. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I like that floaty flying animation. Game's got a bit of charm to it. It's got a very standard puzzle look, but you know, a lot more polish. And the program of the robots uh, from this perspective is relatively unique. There's different bots, each with its own unique ability. Some can pick up and drop. And the bots may need teamwork. Interesting. So what needs to happen is I need to pick up this and then drop it off at here. And that's all it is. I just have to make sure I stand on the buttons myself. That's easy. How many types of different robots will there be is the question. Bots can only pick up cargo at certain locations. Code your bot to wait until you can air bump that cargo before pickup. Okay, so wait for me to press this button. And then I can pick up from here drop off it here yeah, it seems simple enough so first they gotta actually get you on the bouncy pad launch you up and then send it well for this level i'm more on my own you can start by having to go here i gotta wait for this button to be pushed then i can pick up the box which will be here drop it off on here well that's pretty much it but the idea is i make it across set this up here push the button and I got to run here because it looks like it's going to activate this elevator as fast forward and rewind very helpful oh nice I beat the world hooray tutorial complete time for my first mick gadget it's a star cell to make stars neat so this is the factory I'm in it's a bit of an open world sort of mm, it's more of a level select hub I can only wander through it so much. Oh my god, this is a level select hub. Well, I might as well solve the levels here then. Who doesn't love some fun puzzles? So, there's a bot down here. Interesting, it looks like the cube has to drop down onto this collector here. And I think I'll be faster than the bot, so I'll just have it start by picking this up and then dropping it off here. And then wait for the button to be pressed again. And then pick up from here again, then drop off from here. Because I think it's as simple as me just dropping that off and then reactivating this so I can basically do it again. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. I gotta be on this side. I can't go over the box. Noted. And then I'll just make my way over to the elevator. Come on down. Get another star core. Eh, pretty neat. Let's see what other areas I've unlocked. Well, I have this area down here. A couple areas, actually. What to do here? Hmm, so I've got to make it across the bridge. So the only way that can happen is if the robot goes to this button. Then I waltz across. I probably got to take this box and actually bring it on over to the button. But there's no waiting function. So maybe I guess I, guess I just have to have the robot go and pick it up. So pick up the box. Drop it off. Probably at this button. So then we can go to here. Well, that should just work well enough. Let's try it. Waiting, 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 waiting. Go, 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 go. And beat it to the punch. Pretty neat. I keep saying it. it you know, it's, it's good quality puzzles. 
Nothing mind-blowing, don't get me wrong. It's just consistently good. Another section complete. A lot more unlocked now. I'll gladly keep doing puzzles in this area. Don't know how long the demo goes for. Oh, another tutorial. Did you just tell me to give up before I even started the puzzle? First off, how dare you? Do you know who I am? Second off, I'll solve your silly little puzzle. So I imagine I gotta at least pick up this box, drop it off at here, because there's not much else the bot can really do right now. And I just want to see the consequences of it. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay, it's just two different elevators that need to be activated and deactivated. I'll just delete all the blocks because what needs to happen is I'll pick up this box. And then I think I just need a stall. Oh, I have to actually have it move to something. I'm just going to drop it off here and then have it go to this button to just have it stay. And when it pushes that button, this platform will go across the other side. Then I can go up and once I press this switch, then it can go over and pick up the box from here, which should just work. Fast, whoop, fast forward a bit. Go, 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 go. Hit this. Make it on over, yep. And they recommended I come back to this. You fools. It was technically the trickiest one so far. Made me think for a little while longer. Anytime I get to bring out the old thinking cap is a win in my book. Multiple bots. So this is a go-to and wait for. This is also a go-to and wait for. This is a large level. So I will start by having you go to this button. I'm curious, could I hypothetically take you and just run you off of a cliff? Oh, you're saved by the light bridge. What if, what if this guy just doesn't do anything? Then what? <laughs> oh, sorry. I shouldn't be laughing. Well, let's bring it back. This was working perfectly. And then uh, this spot, I'm going to have it wait for this button to be triggered just because I'll know it's safe then. And then you can go to over here, which completes this bridge. And then I will be bringing the cube over to this platform here. So afterwards, this bot will actually have to wait for this platform to be triggered. And then this will lower. I have a better idea. I think there's a weird timing contingency going on. I swear this will make more sense once it actually happens. This is on A. And what I'm going to have it do, I'm going to have it wait for F to be triggered. Then it will go to W. Now, what I'm going to have this other bot do is wait for W to be triggered again because the platform by that time will be down with me on it. And then I'll have it go to, I guess, anywhere. D is fine. D is just a neutral zone. And honestly, that should be enough. Let's see it. Yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good to me. I, I noticed those are one-time platforms, and I only crossed them once. Glad I caught myself there. And I've unlocked this zone that requires five star things. A bridge to a whole new world. There's still two more puzzles in this area. I want to do them before moving on. You may have noticed that I enjoy puzzles. All right, it's just a singular dude. I feel like I have to have him be launched up, which seems like a lot of fun. Actually, I think both of us need to be launched up. I'm pretty sure I gotta have you go here, wait for me to actually activate the bridge, and then he'll go to here to be launched up. And then what I'm gonna do is bring the cube on over above here, drop it, so the robot can also be launched up. And then all it seems I really need to do is have it go to E, and that's just it. I assume we can be launched up together. So far, so good. So can I just press this while holding it? I can. Wait, no! Oh, he's got to wait. I can't believe I missed the command. I have to wait for W again. No, I got to wait for S. Yeah, because that actually triggers him being launched. Now this will work. 100%. That was close. Waiting for S. There, super easy. This is fun. Well polished. Relaxing. I kind of needed a relaxing game to play today. I've been playing a lot of stressful games on my brain. This is therapeutic. This one looks like it has a lot though. So I imagine I have to start by having him go to W, launching the cube so I could pick up the cube, set it down on this thing, and then launch it back up myself. And during that time, I could have him then go to A so the robot could be launched down here. So then I could just have the robot go to E right after. I'm gonna do a wait before this E though. Go to A, wait for W. 
and then go to E. Let's try it. That. Boom. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Well, that appears to be all for this section. So now I gotta go back to the area I came from. Well, one of the new places I unlocked should be fun. I expect an entirely new mechanic to be introduced. There's a giant cube, so I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Mmm. Oh, that's the whole demo? No, it was so fast. I'm kind of stoked though. I want to see more of this. Programming robots is a nice twist on the test chamber type of puzzle. Excited to see the main game whenever it comes out. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.